we got this article courtesy of RA, um, which is fucking crazy because the headline is fucking wild. Look at this fucking headline. False promises, lies, excuses. UK drum and bass artist comics um, accused of defrauding production students. Imagine what kind of piece of shit guy you have to be to fraud students looking to make it in the fucking dance music scene, right? Out of money and shit or whatever he's defrauded them with. Imagine how much of a piece of shit you have to be to defraud eager vulnerable um you know naive probably to some respect students who just want to have some help and direction and guidance in order to make it in an industry that isn't really you know doesn't really tell you how to make it in an easy way you kind of have to dig and find out yourself imagine taking advantage of those type of people you have to be a real piece of shit so it says here george levings allegedly owes thousands of pounds in unfulfilled lessons to people who enrolled in his bear music workshop absolutely horrible right but anyway this guy looks like somebody that was still a fork at your house anyway and so probably should have probably should have kept those guys and girls in the class probably should have been aware so let's see um, revered drum and bass artist George Levings, aka Comix, has accused has been accused sorry, of defrauding dozens of people who signed up to his music production workshop. The allegations against Levings, who has represented Comics um, or solo since Conrad Whittle and Greg Brewer shit had left the group in 2004 and 2011 respectively, were first publicized back in June. A thread appeared on drum and bass forum Dogs on Acid, accusing him of owing more than nine thousand dollars, sorry pounds, in unfulfilled lessons to twenty five to. 110 students enrolled in the bear music workshop the amount owed is 9229 for 237 hours the post read before providing a chart breakdown of how much was owed to each individual there may be more people that have been owed also money and lessons who have simply given up any hope of receiving lessons or refund i guess on paper these things sound quite labor intensive to sit down with people to go through production workshops and shit but again i have no sympathy for people that do this stuff it's like people that you know on fucking vintage or depop who don't want to send their shit on time if you have your stuff listed don't then start sending me excuses in the dms about your work about your cat and your dog and your mum. i don't give a fucking fuck if you have stuff available for sale be available to send it when i fucking pay same goes for these production classes if you put production classes and workshops and mentorships available online make time in your day to fulfill those promises because people are paying you and most likely that money has probably been withdrawn and has been spent on fucking cat eight balls pints of beer you know replica fucking jersey of your favorite of your favorite team and fucking you know un you know unlimited amount of fucking dinners at fucking weatherspoons that's what he's probably done so if that's the case go back and help these kids out because this is fucking horrendous it says levings who's responsible for a string of acclaimed releases um on labels such as metalheads exit records and shogun audio continually left um let students down by simply not showing up to book the lessons <laughs> you're booking a lesson with him from four till five and he just doesn't show up on the zoom what a fucking cunt um, the post continued he still is taking on students and accepting payments for lessons and still failing to live on lessons and refunds again if you're a student that's still paying him and we're hoping that he turns up to yours and even though he hasn't turned to everybody else's you're a fucking idiot take the hint he's a scammer he's not going to give you anything right now so please wait until everybody gets their fucking money then go uh, before long scores of dogs on acid users came forward with their own stories of being scammed by levings a thread now has 90 plus pages of comments there i had three out of 10 lessons booked wrote a user called the, the, the. this hasn't come lightly um a lot of people feel absolutely ripped off some have had issues had no lessons at all even a bit of honesty would have helped but we've been all fed false promises exactly and usually that's all that works that's mostly that works with people I've noticed it with my fucking very small, minuscule Patreon. If you just explain to people, hey, I've had some delays, I've been a bit busy, but I'm going to get your stuff out to you at this time. I've released whatever I was meant to promise at this time. People are usually understanding, but just going out of your way to not communicate with people, ghosting them, leaving them on red will definitely boil the piss of people, especially if they paid their fucking hard earned money to have you sit down with them and give them lessons. It's already a bit of a fucking ruse anyway. I don't believe in any of that shit. I think all the stuff you need to learn how to produce to learn how to mix to learn how to master create fucking beats create fucking melodies write whatever it's all available on youtube for free if you can't surmise and figure out what to do from there on your own then you have no hope to be honest i don't think those mentorship programs do anything they're a fucking waste of money don't spend your money go on youtube it's all available for free but if you can't do that 
and you want some direct mentorship, a bit of pointers, then these motherfuckers owe it to themselves and to you to give to give you the time and day because they know you could just go on, on social media and get it for free. The fact that you're not is because you're choosing not to and you're going away to pay them the money. So they should respect that. But if you do pay for it, you know, you're kind of putting yourself up to be scammed because these things shouldn't be paid for. Like you shouldn't be paying for anybody to teach you how to DJ. There's plenty of free videos out there for you to learn from. And if you can't figure it out from there, you probably shouldn't be DJing. Let's be fair. Um, another user called whatever said they paid 800 pounds up front and only received two hour, two, one, two hour lessons. People are get paying that much money to learn how to produce. It's fucking crazy. Then George didn't show up twice without notifying or replying to afterwards. So I asked for a refund. Um, this was January 7th. Since then, I've been chasing him for my money, but still haven't seen my 720 back. Fucking hell, man. The post alleges that the reasons Levings gave missing bookings range from train strikes to crashing his bike and issues with the online calendar software. Through to depression and the death of a family member splitting up with his partner. Of course, mental health. Of course, use the fucking virtue signaling mental health nonsense. Of course, of course. People love to fucking band that around because, you know, you don't want to be the fucking freak and the callous cunt to say like that. It's not true because anybody it's like saying you've got back pain right and um, you could just make it up to make yourself sound like you know you've got a reason to kind of get out of things but most people who have been clinically diagnosed with depression aren't going around broadcasting it every moment of every day but the ones who want to use it as a fucking um you know as a protection shield against criticism are the ones that are really deplorable if you actually have any sort of mental health issues most of the time you're actually dealing with those things in private you're not fucking going out of your way to you know um to, to seek pity from people on social media it's anguishing it's tormenting it's cutting you up it's destroying your life it's hurting your professional life it's really doing untold amount of damage to you and i'm really hoping that you kind of get over it but the ones that don't and use it just to fucking scam you you know naive um gullible um students who are trying to fucking figure it out you're scum of the earth i'm out for blood one user says i'm just out to stop this happening more people um there are people i've spoken to who've left the drum and bass scene because of this again you know you're probably never going to make it anyway um if you're leaving because of that to be honest um you know again it's not it's a bad thing but you shouldn't let these one occasions completely dissuade you from trying to make it in a scene that you love and care about to be fair according to levens um the scamming has been going on for more than two for more than four years he accused leavings um of using his reputation as a comics to exploit people there are a lot of young people who massively looked up to him he's then totally ripped them off exactly ra spoke to leavings and six others who signed up to the bear music program they all say that leavings failed to provide music production lessons they paid for false promises lies excuses and unexpected behavior has uh, was now daniel napar characterized his experience he believes that leavings acted maliciously there are far too many primary school excuses for it is to be genuine he knows what he's doing <laughs> primary school exactly i crashed my bike my dog ate my fucking travel card like what another student who was asked to remain anonymous said that levings um became abusive towards them when they requested refund for unfulfilled classes that's because you spent they spent it mate that has been spent on cat eight balls um maybe a new fucking fender for his car whatever nonsense these guys buy for sure um maybe some more music equipment it's not there the money is not there he doesn't have it he's spent already they said that this knocked their confidence as a producer negatively impacted their mental health in open in an email seen by ra between levins and anonymous student levin suggested that the student was suffering from debilitating, debilitating paranoia and lost grip of reality and should seek professional help george essentially abused me to the point that i no longer think i'm trying to build a career as even a reality <laughs> when you when you pull the curtain back on in the industry it's full of some right cunts in it these guys should be looking after people they should be mentoring them in every way possible for free most of these people right? they should go out their way to mentor these few kids who are looked up to them who in their own way will somehow add to their longevity of this person's legend right they're going to somehow contribute to how well this guy's looked at you know in the future to come because they're going to be students of his that are going to say hey i got my start because i did this course with this guy but instead of being nice instead of being good to these guys they are fucking cunts he continued i'm supposed uh, sorry i supported him as a fan when i was younger but in reality um it feels like he's stripped drum and bass from my soul i supported him again as a teacher and now i have to walk away lost mentally and made me feel like i'm shit my music is shit oh i don't get my money back Ugh. okay now i get why they're being emotional about it 
because you know your music is your art your music is a part of you some people describe music as being a, their children so imagine you're already seeking validation and confirmation by signing up to this kind of course in the first place and then this guy doesn't book a session with or doesn't fulfill the session booked with you then you start to become super insecure you know yeah i can see why this can go a little bit left for people fuck um they continued i just want to get my money back my mental health has, has to be repaired i barely listen to music anymore let alone drum and bass um and again i don't mind also even if they're just turning it on just to get their money back and kind of pull away the hard strings whatever you have to do do it possibly the most egregious allegation aimed at levins comes from nick sherman a US artist who makes music as generic meds. After being owed 400 pounds in unpaid lessons for over a year, Sherman decided to post experience on bad music on social media. In private measures seen by Levings, responded swiftly and angrily, dismissing Sherman as a psychotic and claiming that his post made him look like he needs a permanent care. Why does he keep calling people mentally ill when he uses mental health as an excuse for his dickheadness? Isn't that a bit cuntish of him? Hmm. And describing um, him as a creature from the under bridge, uh, creature from under the bridge. Imagine talking to your students that I look up to you that you're a fucking prick, innit? This guy is a fucking bozo. Sherman, who suffers from multiple sclerosis, paid <laughs> even worse. What a fucking prick. Paid for the course with what was left of his disability benefits. I initially planning to give it to my partner who's been holding things together since my diagnosis. But she said, no, use it to some lesson so you can follow your music dream. Or, oh my God this guy's a piece of shit bro scamming the vulnerable and then insulting them online via the dms and <laughs> god almighty he eventually received a refund but the audio had a lasting effect on him i got my money back but the situation continued to bother me i stopped making music and started asking myself has it has this happened because my music sucks so much it's just not second person says by the way it affected the share of me i still wake up every day with some level of anxiety like levin sherman believes levin's leverage his reputation as an artist to further deceive students it kind of sucks um what i said was initially discounted just because he's a big artist he still hasn't um he still it's, it wasn't until more people came forward sorry these allegations started to get taken seriously fuck Delegations of foul play extended beyond Bear Music Workshop. Polish promoter Marcin Kluger said um, he was fully scanned by Lewings um, after booking him to play at his party called Nonce. Hmm. Is that what I think it is? Nonce Drami. Or is that Nonce? Nusi. Or I'm, or I'm probably not saying it right. It's N O C N E. I'm saying it Nonce, but it probably is pronounced Noxin or Nokine. Nokine Drami in. in war cat war claw back in june george texts me that he's <laughs> honestly this george guy is a fucking prick honestly the kind of person that you'd want to drive your fucking electric scooter into if you saw him on the fucking streets fucking hell george texts me that his niece dropped his macbook in the bath and that he was unable to provide music production lessons to his customers then he asks me if i could transfer his booking fee earlier than a we'd arranged you don't get to do that to me. You don't. You don't get to ask for money after making up an excuse why you can't do something for me. Go and fuck yourself. Kluger obliged. Again, electronic music scene is full of fucking people that just love to get, you know, scammed um, or for lack of a better term, cucked. Why would you do that? Why would you do this, Kluger? Kluger obliged. But on the day of the performance, he received a phone call from Living saying that he'd missed his flight. Kluger then booked him a new flight only for Levins to call again saying Vluing employees didn't let me through the gate because of his luggage was too big. Levins never made it to Warclaw and despite numerous requests he's yet to return his booking fee to Nunchi Germany. 100% sure that he won't get our money back so I wanted to warn other promoters who might fall for this scam. Will Haunted, who's never received lessons they paid Levings for, hopes that this saga won't tarnish reputation of other production tutors operating in drum and bass sphere. It should mate. No one should be paying for lessons on production. I'm sorry. Especially drum and bass music. It's fucking formulaic. I'm sorry. It's formulaic as fuck. If you can't figure out how to make drum and bass through fucking YouTube tutorials for free, you should. You have no business making music. My personal opinion. Just get over your fear and fucking learn directly. Just, you know, scour the web, get to some clips, save them on your fucking playlist and go through those things. Sit down for a couple of hours every day, produce, 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 and you'll get it. You don't need to fucking send these guys money. You're just wasting money, essentially, for validation. For what? They're not going to sign you. you know what I mean, it's a pointless. 
Um, I've had an amazing experience with these guys. They deserve all the recognition they get, said Horton. True teachers who care about the newcomers. This is my first experience with a bad teacher. I'm truly fortunate to have some amazing ones. And if they do, they will probably won't charge you as much as he's charging. It might be a nominal fee or it'll be free. It won't be fucking 800 pounds and shit. In light of the situation, the drama based met mentorship program, DMB Academy, especially help anyone who's allegedly been scammed we're offering our dmb foundations program a comprehensive <laughs> so if you got scammed they're offering you another course get fucked i'm sorry no way they that said it's about time george got exposed established people in the scene pulled to get finger out about this it's not it's not up to the people in the scene to do anything about this right to be honest it's not their responsibility they didn't scam you but i do get their frustration with seeing people in the scene just not say anything but again seen people have the backbone of fucking chicken drumsticks right they have none zero or they have the backbone of fucking boneless chicken wings they don't have any so to expect them to step out and say anything is never gonna happen especially when it's a peer um because most likely they will probably end up doing the scam later on in their life when shit starts to slow down um but yeah horrendous don't pay for courses don't pay for anything online concerning dance music figure it out online there's many free resources out there free resources sorry out there for you to dig into don't pay for it or you're just putting yourself up for being scammed in my personal opinion but again what do i know what do i 